Good afternoon, friends. Last month, I did a Thanksgiving budget video where I made a full Thanksgiving dinner for six people for $25. And in that video, I asked you all if you would be interested in a Christmas version, and many of you all said yes. So that's what I'm doing in today's video. I'm making Christmas dinner for seven people for $25. I'm gonna show you what I make, but first I'm gonna take you in store to go shopping for the ingredients with me. I have my $25 ready and I'm here at Aldi because they have some great prices. For this meal, I'll be using a few pantry staples that I already have on hand, but all the other ingredients I'll be purchasing today. The first thing that I'm picking up is this pound of asparagus priced at $2.69. For another side, I'm going to grab a one pound bag of baby carrots. It's priced at 95 cents. Regular carrots only come in two pound bags here, so that's why I'm grabbing the baby ones instead. This 12 pack of brown and serve rolls is only 99 cents and that's a steal. So I'm gonna pick these up instead of making our own this time. Meat is definitely where the bulk of my budget is going. This half pork loin is priced at $2.09 and I found one that is almost four pounds priced at $7.98. At this point, I've spent a little over half of my budget. I'm also picking up this box of refrigerated pie crust priced at $1.99. I'm not buying flour to make rolls since I'm purchasing those take and bake ones and butter and shortening are expensive and that's what I prefer to make pie crust with. You can make pie crust with margarine, but it's not as good as with butter or shortening. So I'll see how these stack up against that. I'd like to make a cherry pie. So I'm gonna grab a can of cherry pie filling price at 229. The apple pie filling is slightly less expensive at $1.79, but I'm unsure of how apple pie filling from a can would taste, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick the cherry. I don't think that I have enough room in my budget for an appetizer, but if I did, this cheese ball price at $1.99 would be a great option with crackers or some goat cheese also priced at $1.99. This is everything that I'm picking up at Aldi. I got a lot of great deals today and the total that I spent was $16.89, which means that I have $8.11 left to spend. I'm gonna purchase the remaining items that I need at Walmart. It's less than a mile from this Aldi and actually on my way home, so it's not out of my way to stop there as well. My Aldi is small and unfortunately, there are just some things that they don't carry or they don't carry the right size of. And sometimes they're more expensive on some items, like this fettuccine is only 92 cents at Walmart, but at Aldi it's $1.59. This classic Alfredo sauce is $1.74 at Walmart, but it's over $2 at Aldi. I'm also gonna grab a carton of vanilla ice cream to go along with our cherry pie. It's priced at $2.48. The next thing that I'm grabbing is a pound of margarine. There's only one left. I wanted to get a half a pound of butter priced at $2.48, but it looks like my store is all out, so I'll grab the margarine at $1.48 instead. I have $1.49 left in my budget. At first, I thought about picking up a half dozen eggs to make deviled eggs, but the price has gone up to $1.63, so I decided on sweet potatoes instead. They're priced at $0.54 cents per pound. This is everything that I'm picking up today at Walmart. I live in the state of Kentucky and we are not charged sales tax on food unless it's prepared food. My total here is $7.89, which means that between both stores, I've spent $24.78 and I'm 22 cents under budget. These are all of the groceries that I picked up at Aldi and Walmart. Like with my last video, I'm gonna head over to my mom's house and get to cooking. But before I do that, my husband's going to prepare this pork loin. He saw a YouTube video a few years back that shared this technique, and when he makes it this way, we really enjoy it. I'll leave a link to that video in my description box below. What he's doing now is butterflying the pork loin. Now that he has the pork loin cut into thirds, he put a piece of plastic wrap down, and he's beating it down just to make it level. Now he's making a paste to go inside the pork loin. He's using minced garlic, but if you have fresh, that would be great as well. He's also adding in Italian seasoning. If you have fresh herbs, that would be even better. Now he's adding in oil and a little bit of lemon juice. The garlic has become fragrant, so we're cooking it for a few more minutes on medium heat. 
Now he is straining this mixture. He's also pressing it down to remove all of the excess oil, but reserving the oil, we will be using it later. Now that the garlic mixture is cooled, we're pureeing it in a food processor. The next step is to salt and pepper both sides of the pork loin. After that, you're going to want to make sure that the side that has the fat cap is on the bottom and spread out the paste on the other side. He's finished spreading out the paste into a thin layer and now he is rolling up the pork loin. To keep it all in place, he's tying it up with butcher's twine. After making the knots, he cuts off the excess twine. I'm here at my mom's and we are ready to start cooking. The first thing that we're gonna do is put the pork loin in the oven. We're gonna put it at 350 degrees for an hour and a half and baste it every 30 minutes. This is the oil that we pressed out of the garlic paste that we made and I'll use this to baste the pork loin. And it might not be enough so we might have to use some regular olive oil as well. The next thing that we're gonna work on is making our cherry pie. It will be easy this time because we have the pre-made crust. We have these pre-made pie crusts. My mom and I, neither one of us have ever used these before, but it looks like they're pretty easy to use. She just put one down in the bottom of this pie dish and she's gonna crimp the edges. And then I guess you just put the cherry filling on top, or actually you don't even need to crimp the edges until you put the top on, right? Right. And you're not going to do the lattice. You're just going to put the top on. Correct. And then um, do a cutting pattern or what? I guess we'll see. This is a refrigerated pie crust, but we've let it sit out and come to room temperature before doing this. Okay, I'm just going to use a little cold water on the ends. And this is going to cement the two layers together. It looks like we could have used more cherry filling. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It will still taste great. Yeah. But maybe if you're making a cherry pie, grab two cans. <laughs> <laughs> and now my mom is going to crimp both pie crusts together. I'm just doing a pinching motion. Okay, I'm gonna give it some air vents. This is a nine inch pie dish, but if you have an eight inch, that can might fill it up a little bit better. We're gonna cook this at 425 for 40 to 50 minutes. And normally we would put a tray underneath the pie, but we don't think that there's a chance that it will spill out this time. <laughs> the next thing that we're going to make is roasted sweet potatoes and I've washed them. I'm going to peel them and then dice them up. After I peel my potatoes or sweet potatoes, I always like to rinse them again and that just gets off any dirt that may transfer while you're peeling them. My mom is cutting up the sweet potatoes now into medium sized chunks and we're going to put them in a baking dish and make sure that they're not too close together or on top of each other. We have our sweet potatoes all cut up and my mom is adding olive oil to them. And she's gonna toss them in salt and pepper. And we're gonna stick them in the oven with the pie at 425. And how long do you think we should cook them for? Uh, 40 minutes. You think 40 minutes? Okay. We'll check on it and let you guys know how long we end up cooking it. And you want to spread it out as much as you can. Our timer just went off. We set it for half an hour. So we're going to pull it out of the oven and do our first round of basting. It looks like it's already starting to get a good color. Okay, I'm going to cut the ends off of the asparagus. Not that much. And we're going to be steaming this asparagus. Yes, I have a steamer with water in the bottom. And like what setting, what heat setting do you put it on? Uh, put it on medium high 
and let it only boil for about 10 minutes. For the carrots, we're just gonna boil them and then add some butter and salt. I'm gonna cut these in half. I think that that would be a good size. So the pie didn't need the full 40 minutes. Uh, how long do you think we had it in there for? About 35. 35. And it is brown oh. already. Yep. My mom's gonna go ahead and take this as an opportunity to toss the sweet potatoes. We probably should have cooked the pie for a few minutes less, but it will still be good. Another half hour has gone by and my mom is basting the roast again. Our asparagus is done. Since we're just heating up the Alfredo sauce, we're gonna add a little bit of parsley flakes on top just to make it look a little bit fancier. If you are interested in a great homemade Alfredo sauce recipe, I do have one in a different video and I'll leave a link to that video in my description box below. We have the brown and serve rolls ready to go in the oven. My mom melted some of the margarine and brushed it on top of them. My mom just pulled the pork loin out of the oven and stuck the meat thermometer in and let's see what it's reading. Oh, it is, it is more than done. Okay, good. You want it to be at least 145. And the sweet potatoes are ready. I added a little bit of melted butter to the carrots and salt, and I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley flakes on top as well, just to make it look a little bit fancier. So here's our completed dinner. Here's the pork loin, our rolls, asparagus, fettuccine alfredo, roasted sweet potatoes, carrots, and our cherry pie, which we will serve with ice cream. This dinner serves six adults. I also brought a plate to another person who wasn't able to come because of illness. Everyone said that they enjoyed the food very much and I noticed that they cleaned their plates. This is what my plate looked like and I also had a slice of cherry pie and ice cream for dessert. And here's what we have remaining after everyone got their dinner and I got a takeaway plate for someone. <laughs> I am already looking forward to the holidays next year because I want to do a couple more of these videos and do things a little bit differently. But if you enjoy these types of videos, I have done several of them in the past and I will leave a link in my description box below to a playlist if you want to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching and Merry Christmas. Check out my Instagram and TikTok. They are both at Amy Way to Save.